Here comes the Toyland Express with Paul Winchell and Jerry Mahoney. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Ah, hi, Jimmy. Hey, what you got there, a taxi? Yeah, this is a yellow cab. Oh, well, how does it work? Like this. Hey, that sounds like a real motor in there. No, that's the meter. It's clicking off nickels. Oh. Uh, could I see it for a moment, Jimmy? Sure. Oh, thank you. Wow, look at that, Jerry, and real rubber tires. You know, that reminds me, Lynch. My uncle is working on a new invention. Concrete tires. Uh, for all the highways. <laughs> yeah, you see the highways? <laughs> oh, I don't feel too well at all. There you are, Jimmy. Thank you. Good. Start it up again, Jimmy. Let's see how it goes. Hey, look oh, out. You almost hit a pedestrian. Hello, Paul. Well, hello, Mr. Mark. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Mr. Mark. There's plenty of action around here today. Oh, yes. We're really whooping it up. By the way, Jerry, how is your classwork coming along? Oh, very well. As a matter of fact, I, uh... I uh, had a history test this week, and I got 100%. Honestly? Uh, I refuse to answer under the grounds that will incinerate me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you make yourself right at home. Fine. We'll see you later. Yeah, don't go away. Oh, hi. Hey, what you got there, Ray? I made a Ferris wheel. Oh, you sure did, didn't you, Winch? Yes, you did a fine job, Ray. Say, tell me, does it turn? Sure, you just turned this windlass. Hey, look at that. Uh, of course, you may not believe this, but I built exactly the same thing when I was a child. You, you were a child? Certainly. Well, what ever happened? Oh, <laughs> of course, in my day, we didn't have all these different colors. All the pieces were just white. Yeah, but all the different colors helps you to build, doesn't it, Ray? Sure. You can build almost anything just by following the colors. Oh, that's very interesting. Hey, Jerry, did you see the new football game? No, where? Come on, I'll show you. Come on, Winch, let's go over there. All right. They're all set up for scrimmage now. Huh? Betty's team got the ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, this thing is electric. Oh, you mean you just plug it in? Sure, that's the way it works. Hey, Betty, show them how it works. Go ahead, show them. This, this player has the ball. Yes. All you do to make it work is just press this down. Hey, Lucky Winch, you're going, you're hey, going. Hey, Jerry, huh? my team is yeah, well, when they get through, they look more like skinless hot dogs. <laughs> hey, that's quite exciting, you know that? Oh, that's nothing. You want to see something really great? Why don't you see the kickoff? The kickoff? Sure. Betty, show him. She takes the guy here and puts him in the middle. Yeah? And she just squeezes it. Watch. Hey, <laughs> that's wonderful. Well, go ahead. Now, you try it. Go ahead. You start it again, will you, Betty? Let's set him up. Oh, all right. Fine. Very, very good, Joni. Well, say, who's that sweet little doll you got there, Joni? This is Navia, the ballerina doll. It's Navia, Lynch. Well, uh, what can she do? This is the only doll that moves her ankles into the various ballet positions, like this. Yeah. How do you like that? Say, I bet you could just about learn ballet from watching her, huh? Yes. I put the doll into the certain position, yeah. and then I try to do the same thing. Well, let's see you do it, Joni. Let's see. Watch this, Winch. Very good. Say, Jerry, do you remember the night that I took you to see the ballet? Oh, you mean when those guys came out on the stage with the long underwear? It wasn't long underwear. They were tights. Well, some of them was kind of loose, too. Oh, silly. 
Well, look, Joni, you keep up the good work, and I'm sure someday you'll be a fine ballerina. I hope so. Hey, Lynch, look, the trumpet. Oh, Freddie. Fred, say, Freddie, where'd you get the trumpet? This is a golden trumpet. Gee, it sure is neat, isn't it, Lynch? Yes. Can you play it? I'll play. Oh, you send me. That sends me. Isn't that terrific? Oh, it certainly was. Very good. Thank you. Uh, may I hold that for just a moment? Sure. Today? Fine. Thank you, Freddie. Hey, that's a nice trumpet, isn't it? Hey, Lynch, did you ever play the trumpet? Well, I kind of fooled around with it. I never took any lessons, you see. I play by ear. Oh, you what? I play by ear. E they're, they're big enough. They're big <laughs> enough. Oh, stop it. Uh, thanks for letting us borrow the trumpet. Yeah. Hey, look, Lynch. Oh. They're getting ready to have a party over here. Come on, gang. Okay. Well, howdy, Dennis. Hey, what you doing? Ethel and I are getting ready for a tea party. Oh, that's not... Say, that's a nice-looking table, isn't it? Sure, Lynch. That's called the Lido Junior. Well, it looks like a lot of fun. I bet you could play checkers on it, huh? Sure you could, Lynch. And look at those chairs. Boy, I bet a cow could sit on that chair. Yeah, but who wants to play checkers with a cow? Oh, no. Say, that also folds up, doesn't it? Sure, when you're not using it, all you have to do is fold it up and put it away. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, say, Ethel. Hi, Jerry. Uh, is it okay if we sit down and join you at the party? Sure. Oh, thank you very much, Ethel. It's very nice of you. Gee, Lynch, look at this. Cups and saucers and dishes and everything. Oh, not only that, Jerry. Look, there's a swinging teapot. Oh, yeah. I'll pour the tea. Oh, thank you, thank you. Here's your tea, Mr. Winchell. Well, thank you very much, Ethel. Oops, uh-oh. Now look what you did. Look what you did. Now take it easy. Nothing to worry about. Here, look. They're unbreakable, see? Oh, they just then. Sure, that's the safe tea set. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, we'll try some of the tea now. Mmm, this tea is delicious, Ethel. Would you like some? Uh, no, thanks. I'm driving. <laughs> mm. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks for inviting us to the tea party, Ethel. You're welcome. Hey, Lynch. What? Look over there. They're shooting ducks. Oh, so they are. Come on, let's go over and see. Oh, all right. Oh, excuse us, please. Okay, Lynch, set up the other duck. Okay. Well, hello, Lynn. Hey, what is this thing called? This is a duck shoe. It looks like one of the ducks forgot to duck. <laughs> Mr. Winchell, would you like to take a shot? Well, yes, uh, may I? Sure. Hey, look, Lynch, before you shoot, can I just talk to these ducks? Oh, do you talk duck language, Jerry? Oh, certainly. That's a boy. Don't you worry about a thing. Absolutely. May I shoot now? Oh, certainly, certainly. All right. Oh, right from there? Sure. Oh, fine. Thank you, Roger. Well, you see this. All right. Say, Jerry, these darts are rubber tipped for safety. Go ahead, Winch. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Hey, you did it. <laughs> so tell me, Mr. Mark, what did you think of Nadia, the ballerina doll? A really fascinating doll, Paul. Did you note how it helped Joan in furthering her talent for dancing? Mm -hmm. And for any little girl, play with it results in a great deal of muscular coordination. Well, tell me, uh, why did your panel of educators select the rest of these particular toys? Well, they felt that these were more than mere toys. Educators like Professor Shee of New York, Dr. Gregory of Los Angeles, and Dr. Lewis of Chicago, all of whom served on our panel, believe outstanding toys should be tools for play that contribute in some measure to the growth and development of a child. That is why they selected the duck shoot, for instance a unique action toy that encourages group of family play with its challenge and marksmanship. I see. Well, I should imagine that the rubber suction tips on the darts uh, makes it pretty safe. Yes, Paul. And without sacrificing all the excitement a child experiences in target practice. Mm. Well, now, what about the table and chair set? Psychologically, furniture scale right for children. Helps complete their world of make-believe. Uh, therefore, they enjoy a much wider scope of imitative play through these items. As, for instance, uh, combine it with the tea set, which fosters group play and trains for future young homemakers. Well, I know what you mean. Uh, my daughter really acts like a grown-up, entertaining when she uses her own dishes at tables and chairs. Now imagine what an instrument like the trumpet can do for a child's poise. Its excellent tone makes it seem almost professional. 
And not to mention the stimulating musical appreciation also. Right you are. Over there is another of those games that encourage the sport. The electric football game, which is underwriter approved, teaches children the rules of football in a fascinating manner. And as in all cases of good games, it encourages sportsmanship. The simple parts of Tinker Toy are a challenge to a child's inventive ability. While developing coordination, he learns the basic facts about building and design. Now, another fascinating toy is the yellow cab. Authentically styled, it encourages imitative play and induces action as a child follows it around the room. All these excellent toys can do much to help a child develop either physically, mentally, socially, or vocationally. Uh, well, boys and girls, moms and dads, we hope that you've enjoyed your visit to our playroom today, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you again real soon. Okay? All aboard! So, boys and girls, remember... From New Year's to December... You'll always have a lot of fun with toys. Hip, hip, hooray! Hurrah! It's fun, Bob. Scotty, waddy, doo-doo. Scotty, waddy, doo-doo. Scotty, waddy, doo-doo.